30 seconds from picking up the count. Picking up the count in 10 seconds. The countdown clock will resume on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. T minus nine minutes and counting. CLS auto sequence has been initiated. Ground launch sequence are now controlling. Over a thousand different parameters will be monitored and verified in the next nine minutes. The handoff to Endeavor's onboard computers will occur at T minus 31 seconds, and at that point, that handoff will not occur if there is anything that is not go for launch. OTC, connect essential buses to your fuel cells for your checklist. PLT, that's in work. The orbiter access arm will be retracted in about 20 seconds. Endeavor OTC, it's your final voyage. This is both a sad and proud moment for your launch team and for America, but your legacy will live on. Mission success with AMS, a truly international effort. Godspeed and see you back in a couple of weeks. Endeavor copies. Thanks for the words. Appreciate it. It's Orbiter Test Conductor Mark Taffet from the United Space Alliance. Wishing the crew well. Team has six minutes, 28 seconds. LT OTC perform APU pre start. PLT, that's in work. T minus six minutes and counting. In about 30 seconds, we'll be terminating the liquid oxygen replenishment. T minus five minutes, five seconds. Jealous is go for orbiter APU start. PLT, OTC, perform APU start. PLT, that's in work. PDR, OTC, reconfigure heaters. Get a reconfigure heart. OTC 
Starting the orbiter aerosurface profile test in just a moment. Yeah, is go for approach sequence four. T minus three minutes thirty seconds, checking main engine steering. Verifying that the main engines now are in the start position. Pressurizing the liquid oxygen tank. For ET LO2 pressurization. I'll now be retracting the gaseous oxygen vent arm. CLT OTC clear caution and warning memory. Verify no unexpected errors. Minus two minutes and counting. CLS is go for ET LH2 pressurization. Arming the sound suppression water system. One minute. Closing the liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen fill and drain valves. Standing by for the handoff to Endeavor's onboard computers. T minus 31 seconds and the handoff has occurred. 25. 20. Firing chain is armed. How suppression water system is armed. Go for main engine start. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, zero, and lift off for the final launch of Endeavour. Expanding our knowledge, expanding our lives in space. Houston Endeavour, roll program. Roger roll, Endeavour. Houston is now controlling. Endeavour beginning to over onto its uh, back, the roll program underway as uh, Endeavour begins the heads down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 136 by 36 statute mile orbit.
Three engines now throttling down as Endeavour uh, passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. Approaching one minute into the flight. Endeavour, go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. Endeavour's three uh, main engines now back at uh, full throttle, all uh, three engines in good shape. Endeavour's already uh, traveling 1,300 miles per hour at an altitude of 11 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, now 12 miles. At liftoff, uh, Endeavour fully fueled, uh, weighed four and a half million pounds. It's already lost half that weight in propellant now, burned that weight. Next event is burnout and separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. Uh, that upcoming here shortly at the uh, two minute, three second point, those boosters are burning 11,000 pounds of fuel per second. And standing by for separation of the solid rocket boosters. The onboard guidance system has done its job of settling out any dispersions introduced at burst booster separation. The uh, orbiter is now traveling 3,200 miles per hour, downrange 50 miles, altitude 37 miles. All systems in good shape. Three good uh, hydraulic systems, auxiliary power units, and fuel cells. The fuel cells providing electrical power to all of the systems. Endeavour can reach uh, a TAL site in the event of a single engine failure. However, all three are in good shape. Space Shuttle Endeavour sailing into fair winds on its final historic voyage. This view looking down the external fuel tank, uh, the orbiter there on the top, as uh, Endeavour continues to power its way into orbit, traveling 4,000 miles per hour downrange, 90 miles, altitude 50 miles. Three minutes, 15 seconds into the flight. All three main engines still uh, looking in, uh, in good shape, hydraulic systems and electrical systems on board the orbiter. Endeavour, negative return. Roger, negative return. Endeavour can no longer return to the Kennedy Space Center in the event of an engine failure now, but all three are still in good shape, as are all of the other systems aboard the orbiter. Uh, quiet here in Mission Control as a team of flight controllers watches, watches over all of the systems. Four minutes, 20 seconds into the flight, Endeavour's traveling 5,500 miles per hour. Altitude now 63 miles, traveling downrange 186 miles, or about 335,000 feet in altitude. Environmental and Control uh, Systems Officer here reporting a good flash evaporator system providing uh, cooling to all of the avionics equipment aboard the vehicle. Traveling into space on the forward flight deck is Commander Mark Kelly and Pilot Greg Johnson. Between and behind them is Flight Engineer Roberto Vittori. And rounding out the flight deck crew is Mike Fink. Endeavor, press to ATO. Roger, press to ATO. Endeavour can reach orbit on two engines should one fail at this point. However, all three are still uh, performing as planned. Down on the mid-deck of Endeavour, Drew Foistel and Greg Chamatoff. Foistel headed to the International Space Station for the first time. Vittori and Fink making their first voyage on the space shuttle after uh, flying to the International Space Station aboard uh, Soyuz spacecraft previously. Endeavour, single engine, Ops 3. Roger, single engine, Ops 3. 
That call indicates that Endeavour could reach a transatlantic abort site on one engine if it lost two of the three, although all three are still in good shape. Five minutes, 50 seconds into the flight. Endeavour, press to Miko and single engine Zaragoza, 104. Roger, press to Miko, single engine Zaragoza, 104. Several calls there. Endeavour can reach a safe orbit on two engines now. The guidance system is controlling the engines to roll Endeavour to a heads-up position to optimize the air-to-ground communications through the satellite network. Flight controllers reporting to Flight Director Richard Jones are in good shape. Shutdown plan is nominal. Copy. Shutdown plan is nominal. For Mark, you're go the plus X, go the pitch. Roger, go for the plus X, go for the pitch. Endeavor, single engine press 104. Roger, single engine press 104. Endeavour can reach orbit on one engine should two fail. However, all three are still in good shape. The three main engines are uh, flowing fuel through their uh, power systems at a rate uh, equivalent to draining an average backyard swimming pool in 25 seconds. Seven minutes, 20 seconds into the flight, altitude 64 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 630 miles. Endeavour is traveling 13,500 miles per hour. We're now seeing uh, throttling on the three main engines to maintain the uh, 3G or three times gravity load on the vehicle and the crew. Engines at 82% uh, of rated thrust, eight minutes into the flight, the next uh, Activity is a main engine cutoff. That's expected to be commanded at 21 seconds. And main engine cutoff has been confirmed. Flight Dynamics reporting a nominal main engine cutoff. And separation from the external tank. Endeavour's Commander Mark Kelly now uh, firing the thruster jets to position the orbiter for uh, photography of the external tank. We did see a nominal Miko. Ohms 1 is not...